the leaf tip bends under the weight of dew. Wind passes over the lake. A drop falls. The water murmurs and a rippling mirror gives back the clear blue sky. The Wall is from North Korea, Northern Ireland, and it's a film about, about we deciding what's right and what's wrong, rather than everybody telling us what's right and what's wrong. It was filmed in uh, North Korea, where the government tried to make me produce propaganda. And it reminded me of when I was growing up in Belfast, where you always were told the others, being Protestant and Catholic, you could never trust them. So in the end, when I was there, I had to change the film, change the style of filming. I had to change the whole story because they were bringing in everything to try and make me produce uh, their, their propaganda, their, their world. So I had to change things uh, during the filming so I could have wide shots and I could put in animation and I could make another film for when I came back and came to Belfast and having a young actor who plays me and, uh, and the story tells about him learning to be deciding what's right and what's wrong and does he dare to play with the Catholic boys on the other side of the wall. I was there to make a real documentary but I saw straight away that it wasn't a real documentary. You know, it was, it was total fiction. I had to try and change it. I had to try and say, no, this is wrong. So then the way that you can do things, like I can have a, I had her singing in the biggest stadium, 100,000 people, and, and she's there and it's totally empty. But I knew that I can film that and then I can paint in all the people. So I filled it with 100,000 animated people. I spent one year using every person on, in the film is in pu on puppet strings because it's the state that tells them what's, what to do. So there's 20,000 strings have been painted in, pan painted into, into the film to be showing how that they have no choice. They're just told what to do and they're told what to believe and what is right and what's wrong. I see what I dream. I dream of reality. I was, the only, I was the only filmmaker in the world that got access there. You arrive in North Korea, they take your mobile phone, you go to your hotel, you have your cameras behind the, the mirror, you have the microphones in, in the hotel room. Uh, it's like being in the twilight zone. Nobody's there to be nice. Everybody's there just to use you, take your money and get you out. It was like a David and Goliath. They were trying to do one thing. I was changing it during, during the filming. But in the end, the film is about learning to finding out what's right and what's wrong. We decide, we have to look with our own eyes. And in many ways, I went in the back door and I'm trying to make a film that's entertaining, but makes people think about their own lives, thinking of daring to talk to people, daring to change life, daring to make this a better world.